Steve Stein here and I thought it would be fun to show you how to do a really fundamental and fun finger picking pattern and we're going to be using dust as uh, dust in the wind excuse me by uh, Kansas as sort of our template to learn this from so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this finger picking pattern and it it's a very common pattern that you see in a lot of different songs and if you're ever just kind of jamming with people it's a really nice uh, pattern to sort of just break out and use. So let's just talk about this for a second. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be using the middle four strings. I'm going to avoid the, the outside two strings for now and I'm just going to play these middle four strings and I'm going to be using the fingers, my thumb, my first, uh, my second, and that's it. So my thumb first and second. So what I'm going to do here is I'm, I'm going to start off by just learning how to play the finger picking pattern itself and then I'll show you a little bit of the dust in the wind uh, element as well. So the first thing we're going to do is just scratch these strings. Okay, we're just going to touch those very gently just to kill the strings. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to start working on this pattern. So basically what's going to happen here is we're going to put our thumb on the fifth string and we're going to put our middle finger on the second string. And we're going to pluck those two strings together. Okay. So basically what's happening is, if you think about it, when you're finger picking, you know, you don't want your thumb back here or something like that. It's almost kind of like being in a thumbs up position. So your thumb's kind of out here a little bit, and your middle finger then would be back just a little bit, as opposed to like right here. You might pull it back a little bit just to be a little more comfortable. And you're going to pluck those two at the same time. Okay, so we're going to refer to these two strings as the outside strings. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to move to the inside strings, which is going to be your uh, fourth string and your third string. And we're going to use the thumb again, but we're going to use the first finger this time. Okay, so we're going from our outside strings to our inside strings. And basically what we're going to do is we're just going to try and get used to thinking of these as outside and these two as inside. Okay, so just kind of get used to the, the fingers that you're using for each one of these groupings. Okay. So now the pattern itself, what we're going to do is we're going to play these two outside strings together. But then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the inside strings and we're going to do thumb first. So we're going to play them separately. We're going to play thumb and then the first finger. So we're going thumb first. So we have together on the outsides. Then we go to the insides. We're going to do thumb first. So together and then inside. So together inside. Then what we're going to do is we're going to head back to the outside strings again, which is the thumb and the middle finger. Okay, and we're going to do those again, but this time we're going to do them individually. We're going to do them separately. So we're going together, inside, outside. Together, inside, outside. Okay, so I'm plucking these two together, and then I'm moving to these two, thumb first, and then I'm moving to these two, thumb first. Okay, so it sounds like this. And if you think of the rhythm, it's like doing quarter note here and then eighth notes here. Okay, now we're going to finish this off by going back to the insides and we're going to do the thumb first again. So the entire pattern looks like this. Now, if I speed that up a little bit, it sounds like this. If I speed it up a little bit more. It gets to sound a bit like Tusk from Fleetwood Mac. Um, but anyway, that's the pattern. So what we're going to do is we're going to start doing that over a C chord. Okay, and then I'm just going to keep repeating that pattern. Now the 
nice thing about this pattern is you could use it on any group of four strings. If you were on a D chord, for instance, you might just take those those strings that you're picking and just move down one string and now do it for a D. Slow. Let's say you're going to a G chord. Okay, now a G, you have a choice of any of these six strings. So maybe what I'll do is I'll play the sixth string, and then I'll play four, three, and two. So I'm gonna skip the fifth string and play it like this. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use this pattern, this picking pattern, this fun, uh, finger picking pattern, excuse me, to make all sorts of different things. And you can make up different kinds of things like that. Now heading back to the idea of um, dust in the wind, let me just show you the beginning of that, just so you'd have something kind of fun to play, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just show you this, the uh, chording pattern real quick here, and then what we'll do is we'll add this, this finger picking idea to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a C chord here, and then we're gonna take the first finger off the guitar, and then we're gonna put the pinky down on the second string third fret, and then we're gonna go back to the, the uh, normal C chord. So it looks like this. And then. And then. And then back. Oops, sorry to see. Getting ahead of myself there. So it looks like this. Notice that all the movements are happening when you pluck the two notes together, that quarter note at the beginning. Okay, so that would be your first four measures. Now the next four measures, what we're going to do is go to an A minor, but instead of starting with the first finger down, we're actually going to start with the first finger off. So we're going to go off, pinky, first, off. So what I want you to start noticing here is all we're really doing the entire time we're doing this C and A minor movement is we're going one, zero, three, one, zero, three. That's the movement that's happening underneath these chords. So I'm going. So there's four measures. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start on the A minor, but I ended with my first finger down on this C. So I'm going to start with my first finger off and go. Okay, so C, there's four measures, one, two, three, four, and then A minor, there's four measures, but we start with the first finger off. So if I play the whole sequence for you, it'll kind of it'll help you a little bit because you can hear it here. That isn't enough for you yet, you're gonna go back to C, but this time we're gonna start with the pinky down. So we're gonna go pinky, first finger, open, and then pinky. So we're, this third time around we're going. And then the last time around we're gonna to go to the A minor, and we're gonna start with that first finger. That's how the intro to Dust in the Wind goes. So if I play the whole thing for you, just so you can hear it. Now we'll go to A minor with the first finger off. Now C with the pinky on. Now A minor with the first finger. And the whole thing is... Sorry. And then. It 
just keeps going around. So if you think about it, you're going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I don't know if that's confusing, but that's how you play it. Um, so the song is kind of secondary. The most important thing is, is, is learning how to do that finger picking pattern so you can use it in your songs or situations that you might be in where you need a pattern like that. Hey, this is Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do me a favor, like it and share it. And also make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you're always notified when I release new videos.